Hey, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we finally got some new screenshots for the upcoming DLC. It's getting super close. We have like, what, 10 or 11 days until it drops. I'm super hyped for it. And uh, this is actually some really huge news. So they ended up dropping these screenshots over in the media kit on the official website. So you guys all have access to this. Just go over to the press kit and uh, that's one location that you can just keep up to date. I like to check it every single day. They posted this uh, earlier yesterday, so if you guys ever want to like catch this stuff beforehand, you can check that out. But if you guys want to watch me make a video on this stuff, I always do. So if you guys do enjoy any of my content at all, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. We are so close to 50,000 subscribers. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm not going to drag these out. Because I know, I know you guys are busy people. So we got five screenshots here. The first one shows off Merida's hairstyle. Now, if you remember from my video the other day, I was actually asking, like, wouldn't it be cool if we could get Merida's hairstyle in the game? And it looks like we actually are. So we have a different color variation. We're going to be able to change it to whatever color we want. Green, blue, red, whatever. And I'm really excited to see the different combinations. Because that girl has a mane for hair and it looks incredible. I also feel a lot better now because now that we're seeing Merida up close, she looks so much better. And that's why I see some people suggest that Merida didn't look the best. And I, I kind of just felt like, well, neither did Belle when they reworked her the second time in the trailer with the Tiana update. She didn't look the best either. But then I was like, well, hold off. Let's wait and see what she looks like in the game. And I think she looks incredible. Uh, Yeah. They absolutely nailed her for this game. We see a little preview of the little snippet here. These things are absolutely adorable. But yeah, let's get a closer shot. You can see the hair. The detail, the amount of work the devs had to do to create this hairstyle is insane. We also got the bug catching net or well, I guess it's for snippets. But uh, that's about it in the first screenshot. We've kind of talked about everything else here. So I'm not going to talk about it. It's it's same old, you know, it's the bind. Let's move on to the next one. Up next, we have this shot here where the character is talking to the lore keeper. It said, ah, Stephanie, where has your story taken you? What have you uncovered? So I feel like this is when we're first encountering the lore keeper. This is probably going to be some of the starter dialogue where the lore keeper is trying to get to know us a little bit. But the thing that's really interesting here is this outfit is definitely new look at the patterns on here so i don't know if you guys recognize this or if it looks like a custom made it looks like something gameloft had just ended up making we obviously have this hat we have the earrings the backpack uh the boots everything we already have it's just the dress itself definitely given some like cottage core vibes i personally am not going to have much use for this other than like some tags for some dream snaps but I know, I know you guys, I know the community, and I know that you are absolutely going to love this dress. But there you go. Now we have a closer look at it finally and the design. It does look nice. Uh, other than that, I don't really see anything. Again, same old, same old. We do see a shot of the owl over here, which we've seen what the owl looks like, you know. Super cute. It's one of the three new companion types. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Now, this is something I do want to talk about. Look at this outfit. This is Suro vibes right here. I am in love with it. The blue looks so perfect. And it's got to be a friendship reward for Hades, right? Like, look at the hair. Look at the Hades vibe. The blue fire. The outfit. It's like a gladiator style. I mean, it's Hercules themed outfit, right? So I feel like this has to be a gift from Hades. Probably, most likely, his level 10 friendship quest. But just look at the detail on this thing. I seriously cannot wait to have this. And it's showing it on the uh, girl character. So I wonder what it's going to look like on the male character. But I'm a huge fan. I'll probably never take it off until I get the next amazing item. Uh, hairstyle character looks great. Hades looks awesome. Yeah, there's not much else to see in this shot. It's just more of the same that we've seen. That's definitely the main call out. Now, what's interesting is it does look like we're talking to Hades. So I don't know what the storyline is going to be with him. He's definitely kind of looks like he's up to something, but he also, we look like we're in training as well. Now, this thing has me a little confused, and there's a few things that I see here, obviously. You know, we got Flynn. He looks a little puzzled, confused. And then we have this thing that looks like it turns. I mean, it has cogs here, so I think this is in the whole trials area. I mean, they're showing off the armor, which we already knew about. And, um, yeah, there's some sort of element. I mean, when we did the Jafar's quest line, we had like the prisms and the lights and everything, some puzzles. 
So this definitely makes me think there's going to be some puzzle work going on here, maybe to open some doors. And they have an expression on both of their faces, like Flynn's confused and puzzled. And then our character is like thinking, you know, like I have an idea. So this definitely is making me think of the trials. But one thing I love is this armor here. It looks incredible, especially with like the purple, the green, definitely giving some Maleficent vibes. And I think we kind of knew that because we, we had a feeling that the trials was going to be underneath Maleficent's castle. It just makes sense. You know, that's where Prince Philip ended up uh, at the end of the film. So this outfit is looking similar to the Dreamlight armor, but I'm, I'm excited for that. It looks like a reskin, but I'm happy because when we first got this over a year ago, the Dreamlight armor, you guys remember I said I wanted a dark variation. I wanted like a purple, more like forgotten variation, and we actually are getting it. Now, I will say we don't have the helmet for our character, but in the trailer, they showed off a helmet, like a full suit armor. So I don't know if we're going to get the helmet, if we're going to get options to toggle them on or off if we want with suits of armor. I also don't see the little like the banner or the shield or anything like that. It's just the standard outfit for um, the character. So that's definitely interesting. Also, check out this purple rug down here. I, I really hope we get this carpet, okay? I would use it in so many dream snaps. And then the last shot we have is right here. So this is over and ever after we have the teapot. This is obviously an expanded version of the Mad Hatter. Look at Merida. See what I mean? She looks good here. I, I think it was just some of the early trailers that made her look a little different. We have a good shot of Flynn. Their outfits look great. Now, two things I noticed here. This outfit right here also looks really good. Is it a friendship reward for Flynn? Or Eugene, is it a friendship reward from Merida? I'm not sure. I mean, all three colors are the same, so it's hard to say. If I had to guess, I would think that this was a friendship quest from Eugene. I mean, it just looks spot on, especially with the leather, the brown elements, and the blue. Especially with the white undershirt underneath. I mean, it looks like we're twinning a little bit. So, I feel like that could be a friendship reward for one of them. And then we also have a portal over here. We've never seen this before. Uh, I mean, if you, you zoom in, it definitely looks like uh, the standard portals that we've had. We kind of use this. I don't know if this is going to like teleport us to the trials area or if it's going to teleport us into any other area. But it's definitely interesting. You can kind of see inside of the room. Uh, I really I don't know. Like, I, I feel like they're kind of blocking that off. And this isn't where it's actually intending on us going because they don't want to spoil too much or maybe it could take us back to the original dreamlight valley area i'm not too sure but that's pretty much it i mean this is some really exciting stuff every time they release more and more of this i'm just getting more and more hyped for the update but as i said i wasn't going to drag this out for you guys thank you so so much for taking the time to watch the video i hope you all have the best day ever please let me know any of your comments or thoughts in the comment section down below you guys know I love to speculate. I love to hear what you all have to say. And that's about it. So have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.